If you're having an issue getting voice service on an unlocked device or a Verizon carrier device with your Verizon SIM card but are able to get data service, meaning you're able to use the web but aren't able to make phone calls or receive phone calls, follow these steps to fix the issue. Keep in mind this has been tested on a Verizon SIM card and is not guaranteed to work on other networks or carriers. First, make sure your Wi-Fi is turned off so your phone can properly connect to the network you're trying to use it on. Next, check and make sure the phone you're trying to use has compatible network bands with the carrier you're trying to use it on. The phone doesn't necessarily need to have every network band your carrier has, but as long as it has the primary ones then you should be fine. Once you've done that, go into the network settings of your device and reset the network settings. Keep in mind this will erase all stored Wi-Fi passwords and set all your network settings to default. If you're still having issues, try activating a new SIM card. Sometimes some SIM cards don't work well on certain phones, for example a SIM card that is compatible with iPhones may have some issues working on an Android device or vice versa. If you're using an unlocked device and are having trouble getting a new SIM card activated since the carrier or network doesn't recognize that device, then activate your new SIM card on a carrier branded or recognized device. Then once it's activated, pop the active SIM card into the device you're trying to use. If a new SIM card didn't fix your problem and you're still not able to get voice service working, then call Verizon or your carrier and make sure you have the HD voice feature enabled or turned on for your account. This was the problem I had with one of my accounts. I was able to use the same phone on three different lines on one Verizon account, but when I would pop in a SIM card from a separate Verizon account into the same phone, only data would work and phone calls wouldn't. In the end, I narrowed it down to an account level issue and found out that the account which has HD voice enabled would work on that phone, but the account that has HD voice turned off or disabled would not work with that specific phone. Hopefully by now you've fixed the problem. If not, then there's one final step you can take. Check and make sure the APN settings on your phone are correct. You can follow the directions in the APN settings video which we've done before. I'll link it in the description and put it as an info card on this video. If your problem instead is getting data service, meaning you're able to make and receive phone calls but aren't able to use the internet, then checking the APN settings would be the first thing you would need to do. After checking APN settings, if you still have a data issue, try activating a new SIM card as mentioned previously in the video and see if that fixes your problem. If none of these steps help, then you either have a non-compatible phone in which none of the primary bands of the carrier you are trying to use are compatible with the phone you're trying to use it on. Or you may have a hardware issue which would require the phone to be repaired or replaced. On a separate note, some SIM cards have pin locks set on them, meaning it requires you to enter a pin code every time the phone is restarted or placed into a new phone. If your SIM card does have a SIM pin, make sure to remove it by contacting your carrier. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.